This is the third video on the Road to FPGA's tutorial series. Today we will finally upload something to the FPGA board. We start with something simple. Let's make the well-known blink code and make an LED from the board blink for one second. And then we'll take a look over a counter example. Each time an external input will be high, in this case a button is pressed, we increase an 8-bit counter and change and display the binary value with these 8 LEDs. We will learn how to use the external 15 MHz clock that my board has, create a few lines of code and use the Quartus to create the synthesis. So let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. The first thing we need is an FPGA development board. I've got mine from eBay and it is a Chinese board that uses the Cyclone 4 FPGA, a 15 MHz clock and it comes with a USB blaster for JTAG connector so we could upload the synthesis to the chip. The board has multiple modules on it. We have a 7 segment display, a PS2 connector, an infrared sensor, buttons, LEDs, RS-232 connectors for VGA screen and a lot of other pins outputs. If you are into a bigger project and you already know that the code works, you can design the board and place the FPGA chip on your own design, but in order to learn we will use development boards. Speaking of PCB design, GLC PCB is the sponsor of this tutorial video. They are a professional PCB manufacturer with over 10 years of experience. They offer multiple services, such as prototyping PCB manufacturing for 2, 4 or 6 layers, worldwide shipping and the most competitive price in the world nowadays. Upload the Gerbers, select the settings and easily order the PCB. So back to our FPGA. I use Quartus to synthesize the code, but I create my codes in Multisim. I've already shown you how to download and install those in the past video. First I create a new folder for our project and name it Blink in this case or however you want. Let's be organized and inside create as before the circ, the misc, testbench and sim folders. Now open model sim and create a new project and save it in the sim folder. Now create a new Verilog file and save it to the circ folder. Here is the first code that is more than simple. I create my model with one input and one output. The main clock as an input and the LED as an output. Then we create two registers. One for counting the elapsed time so we could change the LED status each second and the other one to save the current status of the LED. With the always statement, at each positive edge of the clock input, I will increase the counter by 1. My board has a 15 MHz crystal clock, so in order to count 1 second, the counter has to reach 15 millions. When reached, we invert the status of the LED and reset the counter. Finally, I assign the status value to the LED output. Compile the code and if we have no errors, let's open Quartus. Now go to file and create a new project. In the introduction window click next. Now in this window click this button and select the MISC folder and then type the name of the project, Blink in my case and click next. Now here select an empty project and click next. Now we add the Verilog file from the search folder. Open, select it and add it to the project and now click next once again. Here you have to select your FPGA. In my case it's a Cyclone 4 and the name is EP4C E10 E22 C8. Select it and click next and finish. Now here go to files and open the Blink code. Go to Processing and select Start Compilation. After the compilation is complete, we can assign real pins of the chip for our inputs and outputs. Go to Assignments and select Pin Planner. 
Now, check the user manual of your development board in order to know which pins corresponds to which LED, button, mail pin on the PCB and so on. My board is a Chinese one and it had no manual. But they give you this PDF file, so I was able to find the pin for the first LED, this one here, so it's the pin 142. And for the 15MHz clock it's pin 91. So you have to select those here for the clock and LED output and close this window. Now you have to go to Processing, Start, Analysis and Synthesis or just press Ctrl K. Now the synthesis is ready. Connect the USB blaster to your PC and in Control Panel make sure that the driver for the Altera blaster is installed automatically. Otherwise you will have to install it manually for your type of blaster. Now go to Tools and select Programmer and here is the file that we will upload to the chip. Select Hardware Setup and here select the USB blaster we have just connected by double clicking on it. Now press Start and in a second the code is uploaded to the chip and the LED is blinking each second. You could change the counter value here and make the blink faster or slower. So guys, we have finally uploaded something to the board. Now let's go with this second example for a push counter. You should read all the comments in the code and you will understand more. Once again we create a new Quartus project and do the same steps. But now in the pin planner we have 8 outputs for 8 LEDs. One input from the 15 MHz clock, for push button and one for the reset button. If the reset is pressed, these registers are set to the initial value which is 0. If the button is pressed, with these counters we create a crude debounce for the button, otherwise there will be more increments for just one push, since the button will oscillate a few times when pressed. Synthesize and start the programmer. Now I press a button and I have a binary 1. Press it again and I have a 2 then the 3 and so on. We press the reset button and we start from 0. So guys, there you have it. Now you know how to create the synthesis and finally use the FPGA. You have the project files for both examples below and each code has comments, so you will definitely understand them because they are very simple. In the next video I'm preparing a very long word communication, so stay tuned. I hope that you enjoyed this third tutorial and that you have learned something new. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see my future videos. And also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. And remember, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.